Yeah, so I grew up in motorsport. My dad raced a Hillman Hunter um, and doing club level racing and stuff. And then mum and I got roped into helping volunteer at a club meeting and it kind of just went on from there. Yeah, to be fair, it was Brendan's fault. Um, he rang me, um, we were doing Target South Island actually, and this polite young man rang me up, asked if I would sponsor them in the Highlands 101. And so I signed on there. And I distinctly remember Martin saying to me, Deb, there's only way this is going to go, and it's going to go up in terms of the value. And he was dead right. But no, that's probably, what, eight years ago now? It's been a heck of a journey. It's good fun. How do you cope with pressure? <laughs> I'm good as gold. <laughs> I'm not sure about someone else. Yeah. Uh, sleepless nights, but no, nah, it's not too bad. I'll have to get my phone out of my pocket and check the list. Brendan Leach, Christina Orwest, Saxon Sheehan, Angus Fogg, Rihanna O'Meara Hunt, Ronan Murphy, Cormac Murphy, Ryan Wood, Emma Gilmore, Bree Morris, Brad Lathrope and Ryan Denzies. Some of it is obviously from like, so the Brie last year, it was a bit of a cold call, she came around to see me and have a chat. Um, others we've got to know over time, obviously Brendan and Christina have been the longest standing members of our crew. And with Emma, she had a sponsor pull out on her and you know, as a woman in motorsport, if I can't support another woman in motorsport, then what am I doing here? And I, I guess, you know, and we do see a lot of sponsorship proposals across our, our desks. And it's blooming hard to say no sometimes, um, which I'm not very good at. It's, it's really got to tie in with our business values and our family values and who we are and, and how we operate because at the end of the day they are representing my brand and you know we, we take that quite seriously. Dale ITM is second generation family business so Martin's dad and stepmom started that in 1976. We purchased the business off them about 12 years ago and now although we didn't actually mean to we've got three of the four children working in the business too so very much, very much family operation, 100 staff across the three stores. Why not is probably a good answer too, right? Because, you know, um, it's businesses all around the country that sponsor different sports. And I mean, we're involved in, in, in some other stuff in, in our region. But motorsport has been our, our sport, our chosen sport. So if you can't invest back into it, um, why not? You know, it's a great sport and it's filled with families that are going racing together. It's filled with people that are really passionate about what they do and, and are driven to succeed. And it's it's a good good group to be involved with. I do turn my nails and have my fingers crossed for three hours. And, you know, when they win, I do cry. <laughs> <laughs> Happy tears, but I do cry. <laughs> we just kind of try and fill the gaps, right? Be the glue. So you know, making lunches, making sure people have got cold water. Cheer squad on the on the um, bank. I don't have Marguerite with me this year, so you won't hear us from the other side. But we'll make some noise and just have some fun and share the success and share the stories. And you know, even when it's not going well, it's an adventure and we're making memories. It is just like you say about family, right? So. You know, there's, there's one thing about celebrating success, but in motor racing, there's only one winner. So what were the stories on the day? Where was the fun? Where can we improve next time? You know, you've got to have that debrief time and that chat time. It's the same as sharing a family dinner with your kids, right? If you don't talk, you don't know what's happening. That's the result, right? Helping them live their dream.